Vietnam and possibly the Philippines will be banning the new Barbie movie from being shown in theaters nationwide for a reason, David, that a lot of Americans definitely don't understand. Yeah, we got to talk about it because this is going viral on some platforms, right? We're talking about something Andrew, originally silly, the Barbie movie, but it went geopolitical, which is serious. Oh. So long story short, Andrew, there was a snapshot from the trailer of the new Barbie movie where I think Barbie is like trying to map out the real world because she's trying to teleport from the Barbie world to Earth. Uh -huh. So she's like mapping out Earth right. in her mind. Right. Yeah. So there's a line, uh, she, try to, she tries to draw Asia from her memory and there's a little bit of uh, like a journey hash mark, but a lot of people thought that that was actually representing China's nine dash mark which is their claim to the south china sea which is disputed waters and that is what caused vietnam and the philippines to think about banning the movie altogether right so because of a little dash mark in the corner of a screenshot on the back of a cartoon like map vietnam got mad about it and then now it's a controversy and people are talking about it now let's talk about it because i think there's different sides to this story yeah we are not going to get political guys i did not even know about this issue i absolutely support vietnam banning this movie mm -hmm. i think that that's the best thing that it can do to push its side of the story right yeah exactly now people are talking about it and i had to research it but anyways guys we're going to get into the comment section please hit that like button check out other episodes of the hot pot boys david Andrew. we're talking about barbie margot robbie Andrew. Americans do not really understand geopolitics very well, right? No, Generally, I mean, even we care Asian about Americans, and I mean Americans as we, in all Americans. We, we just care about who's the enemy of America, right? Because we we're we're against them and just whatever's happening within American borders, typically, right? Whatever is happening in English, maybe the UK a little bit, but you know, for the most part, Andrew, most of the things people were sending me on IG were so frivolous. They were discussing whether Margot Robbie or Ryan Gosling have aged out and are washed as sex symbols. This is talking about the dispute over territory and potentially life-changing resources at the bottom of the South China Sea. You know, Warner Brothers did release a response and was like, you know, that map was not meant to be a statement. It was a childlike drawing from Barbie's stupid blonde mind. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But they were just like, yeah, Barbie is an idiot in the movie, guys. So she doesn't know what she's drawing. So I guess that was our bad. <laughs> But, and then there's also people pointing out that the dash marks, are, it's only eight dash marks, and it's not nine dash right. marks, which is the nine dash line, which is the very political one, but it could have just been a path or a map. And Right, actually, ah! the, the Philippines came out and said, uh, okay, guys, we're going to let the movie in, but you guys better blur the map part. Because, <laughs> you know, the Philippines, they're like, we really like Barbie, <laughs> we, we, we do like the movie. <laughs> Um, Andrew, let's get into the comments section and then, of course, our own takeaways. Somebody said, man, it's one of two things, man. Warner Brothers is bowing to the possible uh, for the possible revenue streams from the Chinese market or the person who made the prop has pro-China leanings. In fact, I know the guy who drew the map, his name was Drew Wong. Who's that? Because he drew wrong. Oh! Ow! Um, I mean, Man, that's I, actually a, a real name. That's yeah, what I thought. That, that's actually pretty funny. Um, what do you think? How much of this do you think was just the pure capitalism? Because this was like most of the discussions, whether we're talking about Yahoo News, yeah. Instagram, a lot of yeah. people were like, well, China's like literally, well, I don't know, like 15, 16 times bigger, possibly 20x bigger than Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to miss out on the second biggest global theater market in the world. And potentially, Andrew, if you project into the future, China might become the number one theater yeah. market in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get the whole economic play where people are like, oh, well, they would sacrifice the Vietnamese theater movie going market for the Chinese one if they had to pick one of the two. But I'm saying, really, if you think about it, none of this had to happen if they just showed a different part of the map. Right. Unless Barbie in the movie is literally being like, hey guys, look at this area. It's owned by China. This little island here called Taiwan, it's also China. <laughs> right. I I'm don't like, know much about the real yeah. world outside of the Barbie world, yeah. but I know who the South China Seas belong to. <laughs> and never forget, I'm going to go visit my friend Xi Jinping. <laughs> I'm just like, guys, you just didn't even have to put that part of the map. So that's why I think Warner Brothers made a mistake. Now... Now, giving up, if the Vietnamese, you know, Vietnam has to ban Barbie, I think that the Barbie movie can still be successful. Obviously, the Philippines is a large market. China is a large market. Now, does this make, I have a question. Do you think it makes the Chinese, like, regulators 
more excited about the Barbie movie. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, like uh, America, Barbie, uh, the blonde Barbie is standing up for uh, Chinese territory. Yeah, yeah. we uh, gave you guys a little bit more CCTV push because we like the way you drew, Barbie drew the map yeah. from her mind. If that is true, I guess, but I just don't think, I think Warner Brothers, I honestly think Warner Brothers like made a mistake. I think so. Yeah, I'm sure if they could erase those eight lines, they totally just would Just erase it. the eight lines and, and th the map doesn't even even look like a real map it's just anyways somebody said i'm still watching it coming from a vietnamese american you guys can't make me care about this listen i'm not saying you guys don't have the right to care about it but i also have the right to not care about mm. this and then a girl from vietnam said yeah because you're a whitewash and you have no compassion for your own country smh and this turned into a thread of like 50 things going yeah. back and forth. Um, I think just from a macro perspective, because I don't want to comment on this because I'm not Vietnamese, this specific aspect of it, how much should second generation kids care about what's going on in the motherland? I mean, I think we, we, we care a little bit more than obviously the average American that is not Asian, right? Now, I know I get it that we are American. I, my passport's American. I probably plan on living most of the rest of my life in right, America. At least 95% yeah. of the rest of the time. I have no right? plans to move to China, right? Now, like, move my life to China, right? So I guess I, I, it's hard for me to care because, like, I, this, this is not even an issue that I really knew that much about. Right, you have, we had to do a bunch of research to even understand I, what was going on, I know right? that China always wants its territory. I know that people are always disputing it. I get it. That makes sense, you know? But it's also, like, I have no say in this. I don't know. Like, yes, I believe in Vietnam's right to make this a bigger issue, to ban Barbie so that the international community is talking about it now. Now I'm more informed. Now everybody's more informed. All right. But again, we also are not, I'm also not in the business to, to uh, villainize every single thing that China does ever either. You know, so I'm just like, ah, guys, I don't know. It's like, it's like I just wish Warner Brothers just didn't do that. Yeah. It's just like, it's kind of silly that a screenshot of a Barbie map is being geopoliticized, not just politicized, right. geopoliticized. Welcome to 2023. And I actually think it's really interesting that some of the more nationalistic or patriotic members of our motherland are starting to uh, get so good at English, we can argue with them. Right. Because you know how previously, when we were growing up, there's no way you're arguing with the FOB because you, it would have to be in language. And there just wasn't that line of communication no, open, right? No, I mean, I'm sure, like, I've seen Reddit posts about us or whatever. I'm sure a lot of those people are maybe born I in Asia, raised elsewhere. But, like, yeah, like, seriously, I... I don't know, David, do you... Well, as, become, you as English becomes more of a total globe lingua franca, it is really interesting, do you, right? Do you, like, do you... How much can someone care? Uh, man, I think it's... I mean, everybody's I, different. At a baseline, I do not think you can expect second-generation Asian-Americans. Do I think we should probably do more research, at least of the food of the country that we come from? For sure, I think we should, but I don't think there's any baseline default requirement prerequisite to, like, how much of geopolitics you have to understand. I think it helps, though, if you want to be, like, a bridge or, or speak on it. Right, right, right. For sure, if you want to be a subject matter expert, you got to be an expert. Um... Somebody says, man, it's just all about capitalism. And uh, somebody said, yeah, if it's all about capitalism, it's just more evidence of China in, uh, insinuating its influence on American life mm. and culture, which needs to come to an immediate end. Um, what, what do we think about this? Because a lot of people are saying that the geopolitical politicians in America, right, generally they're like pro-America, but the companies are pro-bottom line, pro-ROI, which means that they're going to cater more to the China market. Demands, yeah, right? But, but this is how the companies make money. So it's a global marketplace. It's also free market. It also means that anything you do is going to be judged in the global free market. It's like when Jocelyn Chia, the comedian, made a joke about Malaysia at a New York comedy club. And that sparked backlash from the Malaysian police in Malaysia. So I'm saying... Wait, you're saying that was so 2023, right? It's just that anything that gets posted... Uh, is going to be scrutinized under the lens of a global geopoliticized lens. So people are going to get banned from countries that they even will not even be visiting. You know what I mean? Uh, just like, why el when else would we be talking about Barbie getting banned in Vietnam for a screenshot of a map? And this is why also I don't like to put like a lot of maps and um, flags in our thumbnails when we talk about Asia just because it's so politicized. Because there's so many feelings behind flags because the flag can represent... Uh, a different party or a different era, 
right? Than right. what people want. Somebody said, I can't believe nobody at Warner Brothers thought about this. Does the West really just know that little about Asia? Do you think that's true, Andrew? Like, a lot of people, even though they're going to sell the movie internationally, obviously, like we said, a lot of Americans, we simply do not know or pay heavy attention to what's going on, serious or unserious, outside of American they, borders. They, they so it's like, these mistakes are going to pop up more and more, right? Yeah, I think they, they definitely needed a consultant, somebody whose job it is to look for sensitive material. I know that initially most people would never think that drawing little dash marks on a map, or maybe they drew them, and then even there was a consultant that was like, yeah, but that's like eight dash marks, and, uh, you know, nine is the one you want to stay away right. from, it, so it, you're good. It's not too cow tongue you. Yeah. I, you know, I thought it... You're good money. <laughs> no, that person lost their right. job. Right, you know, the same thing happened on uh, the live-action Mulan, right? Andrew, there was a Chinese consultant but that okayed everything. But when the movie got exported to China, they were like, wait, why does Mulan like live in Beijing or like Shanxi, but then she's living in a Southern Chinese, like Hakka, like a uh, circle house and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, right? I, I think that it's kind of weird that when you make a movie and you expect it to be for the Chinese market, you almost have to know more now. And that's what it is. You have to learn more about China, to be honest. And that's just the marketplace. That's literally capitalism. That's literally the system that everybody in America loves. So guess what, guys? This capitalistic system, it just went global. So that's what it is. Yeah, it's very fascinating. And uh, obviously, I hope that everybody in Asia can get along, Andrew. But, uh, you know, it's unlikely. And yeah. guess what, Andrew? Me and you... Have no influence on it whatsoever. Yeah. No matter what we say in this video, it has zero impact. But I am glad, I'm not mad that Vietnam like made their issue a thing because yeah. now people know about it. But unfortunately, that will hit the pockets of the Barbie movie a little bit, you know? And the Barbie movie, I will say this objectively, I'm not telling, you know, I'm not promoting it, I'm just saying it does look well written. Right. Okay. That if I was gonna consume any Barbie material in my life, it would be that movie. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I think there's silly aspects about this. I think there's really serious aspects about this. I think everybody's entitled to take it how they want it uh, because their closeness to this issue is like highly variable, especially here in North America. Um, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.